everyone welcome back my name is lynn wilson and welcome to my home and welcome to my channel i'm so glad you're here we're gonna chat a little bit tonight and i just wanted to let you know something that happened that was really good and a cool thing for us i was so excited so i talked last week we i forget which video it was and i told you i was doing a swap and it, i was really excited about it well here's the scoop we had a chest freezer when we moved in this house we had a you know really really big chest freezer it's in our basement and a friend of ours was selling it for fifty dollars at a garage sale literally across where we live and i said oh i always wanted a chest freezer so he said oh you have to have a chest freezer if you're moving in you have to have a chest freezer so for fifty dollars we not only purchased this chest freezer i came home one day and it was moved into our basement he was so gracious about it so we have this huge chest freezer in our basement and we used it for years we loaded it up with meat and bread and i put everything in there potato chips that i bought on sale and we put our cereal in there and our flour and extra gallons of milk and water you name it and it was great i still have it in the basement and we put everything in it the problem happened was we weren't going through the product as much and then the bread was getting really frostbitten and we just found that for us you know after a season like everything changes everything you know for a season after a while we no longer needed the size of that chest freezer so we unplugged it defrosted it and there it sits in our basement and then i started realizing okay the one on top of the refrigerator is just too small like you know if you got an average refrigerator unless you have a really big one but um we're in a rental house so our our freezer refrigerator is an average size that you would find in most probably kitchens and you can fit some stuff in the freezer but like if you're trying to stock up like you know we're all talking about stockpiling and all that or you want to get things on sale there's just not always that room so we saved our pennies and we bought a small chest freezer i don't know if i got it on walmart or on amazon but i had it delivered to the house and we put it in our kitchen as small as my kitchen is and a kitchen video is up and coming very in the next couple of videos out you'll see my kitchen tour video because i know a lot of you want to see pantry stockpile video and all that stuff um but we got this chest freezer and i wanted to be able to leave it in my kitchen so I didn't have to go up and down the basement stairs and get the food, like bring the food down when I had the groceries. It was like, oh, lug it all the way down there and lug it all the way up when I needed it. So we put this chest freezer in our kitchen and I want to guess, it's got to be 10 years ago now. It's been sitting in our kitchen and it has served us well. I didn't know a whole lot about freezers. I didn't know a whole lot about anything. So we got a small chest freezer that, you know, opened the lid opened this way and everything was in it. Well, I'm only five, two and a half. So I'm not a tall girl and not that the chest freezer was all that deep, but it was deep enough and it was a pain in the neck for me to always reach in. I organized it every which way into different bins, into different categories, bags of vegetables and bags of meat. And I tried to do all the thing. It just never quite worked for me. And then I saw somebody one time, which I had never, I guess I had never seen an upright freezer. And they opened their freezer door and it was like, whoa, I loved it. We happened to be in Home Depot weeks ago and I saw a chest freezer that opened this way and I was in love and I kept looking and it was on sale and I kept looking and I'm like, oh, it's not in the budget right now. So I said to my husband, what if we were to go home and we sell our chest freezer and we take that money and then we apply that toward the new freezer and we, you know, maybe sell a few things on Facebook marketplace and, and get some money. He said, yeah, we can do that. He was all for it. So now I'm thinking, well, I'd have to buy the new one first because I'd have to get my stuff that's in the freezer into the new freezer before I sell the old freezer. But I needed the money from the old freezer to help pay for the new freezer. Is that making sense? So anyway, in the course of a conversation with, um, a friend of ours, I was telling him what I want to do. And he said, oh, no way. He says, I want a chest freezer. He said, I have an upright freezer. I said, you do? He goes, do you want to swap? I said, swap freezers? He said, yeah. I said, do me a favor. Take a picture of your freezer. I want to see the outside, the inside, 
you know, the whole thing. And let me talk to my husband about it. So I came home and I told Graham, so what do you think? He goes, oh, not a bad idea. He goes, let's get a, a picture of it. Let me show you some pictures. Let's, let, let's go to the pictures. And we defrosted it enough to clean it all out, get it all fixed up on the inside. And at that point, Graham, we had everything coolers and cooler bags. I was at work. So he had to just shove the food in there, close the door and call it a day until I could come home and sort it out the way I wanted to sort it. So I think it was either the next day or two days later, I ran into him. I said, what do you think? He said, you have no idea. That's the exact freezer I have been looking at and I have been wanting. And now I know like even buying things now, some things are available, some things are not and all the rest. He got what he wanted and I said, he says, what about you? I said, I keep opening my freezer and I can stare right at it. For me, it was the best. I've had people say to me, oh, don't get an upright. A chest one is so much better. You know what? I had a chest freezer for 10 years and I had a, a big chest freezer. I, I've had it for over 20 years. And then I had a smaller chest freezer. They're great. Would I recommend them? Absolutely. It just wasn't what I wanted. I knew what I wanted. So we have this chest freezer. We're going to buy one of those units that you can get like if you're in a dorm and you put it over it and it has some shelving. I think we're going to go with that route to add a little bit more storage space and um, more functionality because I couldn't do that with my chest freezer that opened this way because I had to always have it, you know, the ability to open the lid. Now that I can open it like a refrigerator door, I can put something on top and make like an extra counter space and maybe some storage upright. So I am so excited. So let me encourage you tonight. Listen, do you have something somebody else wants? Do you need something? Are you wanting something? Swapping, you know I have a food swap. We swap food all the time. And it started by me saying to somebody, hey, you wouldn't happen to have a couple of cans of tomatoes. And they said, I do, but I'm looking for a couple of boxes of macaroni and cheese. I have that, I have plenty. Let's swap, and we swapped. And from there, this whole food swap just exploded in the little group that I have that it has formed into. You know, are you trying to save money? Are you trying to stay on a frugal pattern in your life? We are working toward getting out of debt. And here I was going to try and sell things, which I'm still going to do, but I can apply that to something else. And we were able to swap an item that we had for something similar, but different that we really wanted. And I didn't have to go out and buy it. I am absolutely thrilled. And I just want to encourage you, you know, swapping with a friend is not a bad thing. I have a friend, we've swapped pocketbooks. You know, she has a brand I like and I have a brand she likes and vice versa, whatever. You can swap, you can swap clothing, you can swap food, you can swap appliances, you can swap crafts, you can just, you know, it's a great way to replace things that you want that whether you can afford it or not, why pay for something when somebody else has the item that you can swap? Put it out there with your friends and say, hey, anybody have, I'm willing to swap what else, you know, and it's a great way to do it. I'm just so excited. I had to share that with my friends. So we'll catch you all on the next video.